and welcome to our Signal 4 video series. Today I'm coming into the video as a company that needs the ability to send out manual alerts to my teams to alert them of certain emergencies, such as something along the lines of a fire in the building, or maybe even inclement weather with a hurricane or a tornado, or a significant amount of snow where we want our users to stay home and stay safe. So we're letting them know before they start their daily commute so that they can stay safe. Um, we also have the ability to include a location. So let's say you have your users who are on the road a lot. They have the ability to let you know that if they were in an accident and give you the exact location of where the accident was, if you need to go and check on the user. So now we have loaded up our Signal 4 web portal and mobile app. And we can send the signals from both the web portal and or the mobile app. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And the first step here is in the web portal. If I go ahead and click on my send signal button at the top, this is going to take me to my manual signal page. And inside of this page, I can actually select one or all of my teams to send a specific message to. So right now I'm going to go ahead and select all of my teams. And then the next option here is we have keywords and keywords only works when you're selecting a specific team and not all teams. But if I select a specific team, I can actually choose the category that the alert is going to show in. Make sure that the correct category is used for the manual alert. However, when we do all teams, it's going to automatically use the keywords and route into the specific categories using the keywords of those categories. The next option here is we have is the emergency signal. And when enabled, this emergency signal is actually going to send to every single team member, whether they're on duty or not. And the reasoning behind this is we want the entire company to be aware of certain events, such as a fire in a specific building so we can evacuate properly, or the inclement weather so they can avoid even trying to come in if it's too dangerous for them to drive into the office or even something as horrible as an active shooter so we can avoid the area and stay safe. The key here is we want all of our employees to stay safe. One of the other things we notice is when we select emergency signal, we're automatically going into the emergency category just to further route the alert into a obvious category for your users to see it. So next up, we want to actually include the title and text, our subject and text of the alert. And in this case, I'm going to do an inclement weather alert, letting them know to please remain safe. We have bad weather in the area. And now one of the other options we have here is how do you want the acknowledgements to come in from your team? So we can do it as configured for the team. So whatever your team's configuration is, that's how they have to acknowledge. Or we can override it and say only one team member has to acknowledge the alert to let us know that they received it or all members that receive the alert must acknowledge. And in the case of emergency signal, we want to go ahead and send this to everybody. So we want to make sure that everybody's acknowledging the alert just to say that they've seen it. Now, the next option down here is where we can actually add a location. So let's say for severe weather, we actually have multiple offices in different parts of the country or even the world. And here I am located down here in Florida, which is what automatically is chosen because I, I give the map the access to my location. However, what I can do here is I can type in an address or I can manually click on a new spot here to say, okay, this is the office that's having the issue, so please avoid this office. Whereas the other offices can still proceed about their day without issues. And then finally, at the very bottom, we have the option to save a template, which means we can quickly access this again in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and do that here we're going to save this as the inclement weather template so I can use it again in the future. And this is going to save everything we see here from the teams to the emergency options to the text, as well as the acknowledgement and even the map location. Now I can change the map location in the future when I access this. And we'll see here if I click on my fire template, I actually override all the settings and show the fire template. And if I click on the weather one again, it actually overwrites everything and shows the weather. And you'll see I'm still in that same location here inside of Kansas. However, I can move that to send the alert out. And now we're actually going to send the alert so we can see that in action. When I click on the send button, 
We actually see right off the bat, we see three new alerts show up under our recent submissions. And even on the phone here, we see our three alerts because I have three teams. So we sent an alert to each of the three teams. So here we can see in my phone that I have sent this to three people and none of them have acknowledged it. And on the IT ops team and on the supports team, we send it to two people and neither have acknowledged. And on the sec ops team, we only actually have one user and we've sent it to them already. So if I open up my SecOps and we'll actually scroll down, we see the map again, as well as all of the information in the alert. And we'll see here that it was signal raised in the timeline and we don't have any acknowledgements yet. But if I go ahead and click on the acknowledge button, we'll see our acknowledgement show up down there in the timeline, as well as the icon change. And here in the web portal, if I go over to my signal center, We'll see the alerts here as well, and we'll actually see here for my security apps team that I have already acknowledged the alert and it is ready to go. However, if I look at one of my other teams, we'll see here that we sent this alert to all of our users. Even though this user does not actually have the app installed on the phone, we still attempt to send to them. And in most cases, that wouldn't happen. I just only have the one phone, so I only have one user logged in at this time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge all of my alerts just so they don't continue the escalation path. And then I'm going to go ahead and close them all. And now what we want to do is I actually want to showcase this in the mobile app as well. So inside the mobile app, if I go to back to the homepage and scroll all the way down to the bottom down here in my actions tile, we have this send signal option. And if I click on that, we'll actually load up the signal options and we can even select the templates again so we can create the templates in the web portal only, but it can use the templates in both the web portal and the mobile app. So here I'm going to go ahead and choose the fire template since we've already used the weather one. And this is again going to all three of my teams, but I'm actually going to change that and I'm only going to send it to my IT ops team. And we'll see here that we still have the fire in the building with all the information. Um, it's not using the location because we don't want them coming to this building. And we're letting them know that there's a fire. Please evacuate. And that fire and rescue has already been contacted and are on the way. So now what we want to send, we just hold the button to send it. And it actually creates the alert again. And we see here it goes to the IT ops team. And it's still an emergency alert. So it goes to all three of my users. Even though... Like we mentioned earlier, these two don't have it installed, so they didn't actually receive it, but we attempt to send it to them. And we see that it did go to my user, and he did receive the alert, and he was notified. So now he's going to go ahead and acknowledge it again. And then finally, what I want to showcase here is using the phone, I want to send a manual signal, not using the template. So I'm going to click on send signal again. I'm not going to select a template. And this time I'm going to send an alert to my support team. In this one, I'm going to send it as... I was out and about doing my duties and I happened to receive an accident. So I'm letting them know that I was in an accident and I'm going to send the location here. Okay. So now we've typed in the information. I let them know which vehicle was where I was and I'm including my location, which is automatically going to choose the location of where I'm at by the phone's location settings. And then once I've typed it all in and I've selected my team and all the options, I just click on the hold to send button again. And this is going to create a new alert, which we'll see in both cases here. Um, and if I open it, we'll actually see that it was sent to my user um, as well as the other on duty user. And it went to the support team and include my location as well as the information I typed in the alert itself. And again, this can be acknowledged in both the web portal and or the mobile app as well as closed in both as well. And then we've closed everything. And that's how we can use Signal 4 to help send manual alerts in case of emergencies to your entire team or targeted users using both the mobile app and the web portal inside of Signal 4. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.